We're at the general le general session legislative preparation. Are we? We're no no. Sorry, that's a purple purple purple. We're to the consent calendar. We're going to go to the consent calendar. And I'm looking for a motion. Board member uh, Hart. I'm. Oh, okay. Do Go you want to pull things first? Is that what you're? Yeah, I just wanted to pull number three. Okay, um, we're pulling number three from the consent calendar. Now I'm ready for a motion. Ma'am, I Aye. actually I need you to tell me please what number you're on on the agenda. Okay, my apologies. We are on general consent calendar. It's section 13. The other items will be tomorrow. So, sorry. You want me to wait just a minute for you? Can I pull number yes, five? Please. Okay. I apologize. Apparently, I got stuck in one of these things. You're like okay. Three. We'll give you just a minute. It's we're pulling number five and number three so far. Let us know when you're ready. I would like to pull the BTS out. Okay, and number six on the consent calendar. Is that it? Okay, go ahead. Sorry, so oh. that was number five in the contracts. So oh. am I pulling number one? Oh, okay, uh, my apologies. So thank you for clarifying that. So we're pulling number two. One. Number yeah, one. one, yep, off. you're right, yeah. sorry. The one's information. So we're pulling. Okay, so we are going to pull number one, three, and six. Is is that correct? Okay, we're going to go ahead then. I move that we approve the remaining items on the consent calendar. Is there a second? Second. Okay, the, uh, that was Board Member Norton. The motion before the board is to approve the remaining items on the general consent calendar. And so the. Go ahead and vote. Vice Chair Earl? Yes. I, I'm a no on this, but I want to explain my vote in okay. that I, the first time in my time on the board that I have ever seen rules put in the consent calendar, and I just think it's poor form and a lack of transparency to do business like this. So um, I'm a no, and I will continue to be a no as long as these things are grouped in omnibus fashion. So that's, that's my reasoning there. Thank you, ma'am. Data, data standards are two seven seven four eight four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's see. We're at, oh, a, a, who's talking to me? Angie, do you want to speak to that? I'd be happy to. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah. Um, just wanted to refresh. For those who um, may not remember, but R two seven seven forty four went through committee in April, was approved by the board in May, and shortly after the board approved it, we realized there was a date that was missing, um, and we added the date in the document that's incorporated by reference. So if you scroll through the rule, you'll see that draft two is um, says you know there's red and blue and you scroll through and you're like where's the red and blue and that's because it's only one date that was added um, and this was required by code and we just missed incorporating it into the table of dates so the only substantive change was to add one date to the table to make sure the LEAs understand they're expected to submit some data by a certain date which is required by code everything else went through committee in April and was approved by the board in May. And that is why board leadership um, advised putting it in consent calendar. Okay, thank you. And normally consent calendar items are ones that we normally don't have a lot of discussion on or they've already, yeah, so I just want to clarify. Sorry, I just wanted to show yeah. the only date change is on line okay. 92. Okay, thank you. Just for your information, I appreciate the questions and the answers. Okay, so we are missing votes, it looks like. We have 10, so that means we've got three out still. Booth, straight, carry. Yes. 
Straits not here. Did he leave? He's just not here. Okay, um, that is, that passes um, eight yes votes, four no votes. Do you want to give me the names on the no vote? Klein, Green, Bogus, and Carey on the no votes. Okay, uh, and we polled item number one. Is there a specific question you have or something you want answered on that one, Liam? <coughs> There's one item I want to vote no on. Is there a way to do that? You you can pull that specific okay, one. I just want to pull uh, the PBL works off. Okay. So let's just pull that one up. Make sure. This is Liam's. Pulled it off. I don't either. Can you tell me what? Is it Summit Partner? Oh, Buck Institute. Ah. Uh, Okay. Um, is there? I'm looking for action. So. Which would be all the other contracts or the PBL contract? That would be the possible motions or no motions at all, and then none of the contracts get passed. So just throwing that out there. Oh, I move to approve contracts one, two, three. If we go down, how many are there? Just all, all but number four. Mm -hmm. All remaining contracts. Thank you. Okay, all remaining contracts. So, other than the uh, Buck Institute for Education DBA PBL uh, works contract, um, that's the motion before the board. If you want to. All the other contracts. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have that phrased up for us? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and vote. Oh yeah, I need a second. Uh, Do I say second? Okay. So, Vice Chair Earl, I cannot see the motion on YouTube. Oh, so it's it is. all okay. You got it. And do you know? Do you want me to clarify, yeah, or are you good? No, I believe I have it. My, I'm a no. Okay. Okay, so we have, uh, are we missing a vote, or is that it? Okay, we have eight yeses and four noes. The noes are who? Carrie, Bogus, Green, and Klein. Okay, that leaves one contract there if someone wants to move it. If not, it won't get moved forward. So, is there, can we ask, is there a specific reason? Do you mind if I ask? Just. I did some research with, just didn't wonder if this was legislatively driven or, you know, what the purpose is. And I just have a fundamental opposition to sometimes just new vendor bills. Just it, It's just that we're constantly spending money on vendors and so I wanted the opportunity to vote no. Okay. Okay, there's that item that's pulled. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, my light went off. Go ahead. Um, I just wondered if we could hear from Jennifer Thronson, if she's the right person, yeah. about what the purpose is of this and maybe the value, because it doesn't clearly doesn't necessarily explain it in the contract. 
May I respond? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Thronson, Director of Teaching and Learning. This one is meant to create sample project-based learning and performance assessment tasks for um, K-12 science and social studies to help um, create more engaging learning instruction in schools and to model best practices within science and social studies. Um, project-based learning has really shown in our state to engage kids, to make them want to come to school. So the example that we saw was a boxing one for science around force and motion, and the kids uh, worked to design a boxing glove using the scientific principles of force and motion. And so they learn the science, but they actually get to implement. So the lesson can be tweaked to like, you have a bunch of kids who like soccer, great, design a soccer cleat. Like it just gives the kind of starting to get teachers to think, how do I teach these concepts in more meaningful, relevant, engaging ways that will pique my students' interest while teaching the content that goes with them? Um, and what does performance assessment look like to really see if a kid understands the task and can tr transfer their knowledge to a new novel situation? Um, that was kind of the intent of it, was to start modeling for our educators some more engaging ways that they can teach their content and to bring resources, especially to social studies where we don't have a lot of resources for those educators to model these kind of better practices in classrooms. And can I follow up briefly? We did a staff. So it was That's something that the field had said we would really love more examples in the performance assessment and project-based learning. And so we took that upon being responsive. We had some carry forward funds that we thought would be a good use of this, put it on RFP, I think we had nine vendors submit, and this was the chosen vendor. That's helpful. We just, as staff, we could do it, but we don't have the capacity. It's a resources issue. Like, I could bring together all these teachers and do and lead the work. We just don't have the capacity as staff, and therefore needed the vendor relationship for that work. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, uh, direct a th may I direct a question to the witness? Uh, the, the witness? Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No, you may not. <laughs> sorry. But if it's, you'd like to, for Director Thronson, yes. It, um, well, on that note, I'm going to withdraw. I'm not going to pursue it. Thank you. Thank you, oh, Chair. No. <laughs> okay. All right. I move Vice Chair Earl. Uh, yeah. Yes. So my question is, uh, perhaps through the chair to Director Thronson, why are we not using these monies to hire more staff? They're okay. one-time funds, so they're not sustainable to support additional staff from beyond a short term, and hiring people for annual mm -hmm. service we don't end up finding a lot of folks that want a job that will turn over in a short period of time. Okay. okay thank you. Does that answer your question? All right. Board Member Lair? I move that the uh, board approves the uh, Buck Institute for Education contract. Okay. The mo is there a second? Okay. The motion before the board is that the board approve the Buck Institute contract. And we'll pull that up. Okay. Member Bogus, do you have a yes, no, abstain? No. This is a no. Okay, does that mean we have one left? Yeah, Board Member Hymas, is he? Bagus. Member Bagus was a no. Is that it? No. Who are we missing? Okay, the motion fails. 
Um, we have, and I'll just read off, we didn't, there's not enough votes to move it forward. Six votes in favor, five no's and one abstention. I can read off the names here. Um, looking for motion on the minutes. So the, uh, the no yes, I'm going to, the no votes are Bogus, Bogus Green, Green Wood, Wood, Carrie, Klein, and abstention is Vice Chair Earl. Okay. And looking for a motion for the minutes. I move we. Oh, go ahead. Well, we would not approve that contract, so they would need to either go back and look at the contracts and decide if there is another one, or I, I guess carry on some discussion and evaluate what to do. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, motion for the minutes? I move we approve the minutes. Okay. The motion before the board. Uh, do I have a second? Motion before the bo board is to approve the meeting minutes, and we'll take a... What? Did I say something? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You were chuckling. I thought maybe I said something I didn't want to read it. Okay, go ahead and take your vote. I didn't know if I m mixed up words or something. <laughs> it throws me off. Uh, <laughs> Member Boggess, what is your vote? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, we have one last item that... Oh. Okay, we have one last item on here. We have the BTS Arts Program. If someone wants to make a motion for that. Or not. So, I'll, I'll make the motion. Okay, so the motion before the board, is, that's for 13-6, right? The approval of BTS Arts Program funding allocations to LEAs and endowment universities. Yes, ma'am. Can I need a second? Okay, it's been moved and seconded. The motion before the board is that the board approve a BTS Arts Program funding allocations to LEAs and endowment universities. Go ahead and vote. I'm a yes. Okay. And let's see, we're at 12, so that's that's it. Or 13, right? 12? 13. 13. There's one no? Yep. Who is that? I can't see. Member claim is a no on that. And um, we're going to go ahead and 